write down what uh, all right these settings right here are breath rate at 12 tidal volume of 500 eye time of 1 your peep is at 10 so if we drop the peep to 0 and we put and we had an I to E of 1 to 2 on those settings we had the exact same settings we dropped the peep to 0 we de-recruit most of our lung tissue Now, if we put it, we have an I to E right this second of 1 to 4, which is still good. Now, if we change the I time to 2, and we increase the rate to 16, which is fairly common, Let's bump your tidal volume up to 600. Okay. Now, what is your I to E ratio? Now, scroll through it. That gives you a couple of breaths. 1.1 1 .1 to 1. So you're now at an inverse ratio. Breathing in more than you are exhaling. And 1 to 2 being... Uh, the minimal clinically appropriate or above one to two one to three okay then we'll go ahead and reduce the eye time back to one we're going to set our peep at set it at ten just, well we set it at five Let's see what we got just set a minimum of five Now, what are we looking at just in that little change in your eye ratio? 1 to 2.7. 1 to 2.7. Much better. You're not at an inverse ratio for your ventilation. And what are we looking at as far as 16, breath rate, tidal volume 600, eye time of 1, PEEP of 5. you got a good clinically appropriate 1 to 2.5 eye time. And you're not having all the recoil that you do without the peep. Now if you turn the peep to 10, it doesn't start getting therapeutic until 10, 5 to 8 being physiological. Let's see if we have a difference. We recruit some additional VLI. 1 to 2, I to E. And our I to E is 1 to 2, so we're still doing good on that. And we're getting good gas dispersion. We're not having a tremendous amount of recoil in the lungs to cause any kind of shearing injury or any kind of barotrauma. So I believe that is it. That's a good demonstration on the pig lung.